Hi, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two as Art and I review another great old film on VintageFilmChannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Gracie has a deep, deep library of great old films and TV shows, and Art's picked this one, a favorite for everybody who grew up in early television. We saw these things on television. Mm. I think they were called the Dead End Kids, weren't they, at that yeah, time? Yeah, so I think what happened was that there was the Dead End Kids and the East Side Kids. I'm just going to let this uh, run a bit. Let me go find some look and feel. Some uh, action, yeah. They all look the same. They're going to be the kids yep. of the street, the so on and so forth. This one, apparently, the Dead End Kids uh, morphed into the movies but then after a while, I guess they were getting too expensive or something. So they got a whole bunch of different dead end kids. And then yep. the East End kids and the Bowery boys. And they had a whole bunch the of... Bowery boys. That's what... Yeah. 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 So I remember well, seeing this... on TV, uh, 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 was it, the Heinz Hunts and, and Leo Gorsi and a bunch of them. Yeah. But these are all the same kinds of characters. This yeah. actually, I watched the whole thing because it actually had a real plot. It had some excitement to it. Um, but I guess what happened was, uh, I know that Monogram uh, Pictures made about 20 some odd uh, uh, pictures as East Side Kids or East End Kids or whatever. Yeah. And then they morphed into these other things. But they're all about the same. They all yeah. have interesting tough kid uh, personas that are in there. Uh, and it's good versus evil. And even the bad, e troublemaking kids, uh, whether they be the, the Bowery Boys sure. or the Dead End Kids, they all they're have some redeeming just value. Get into trouble. Right. Yeah. But they have redeeming value and, and they take care of people in the end. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is this is another thing that, um, that Grace found and salvaged. Uh, and it was kind of interesting because I was expecting to find Gorsi and everybody else. And I found out that it was just this, the genre. And it's as well done as if you like the dead end kids and the east end kids and the and not the west side kids. Those are probably hoity toity people. Uh, then uh, <laughs> you you'll like you'll like this kind of movie because it'll bring back uh, a sense of nostalgia for this type of film. And it's it's nice to to see it. It's a it's a, a clean plot. There's nothing AI about the whole thing. There's no special effects. <laughs> uh, and um, so anyway, well, I want to I, I want to I wanna add a little bit of history here. Um, the original plot for all of these uh, dead end kids, uh, East End kids, uh, mm. all of those and little tough guys was another series. Uh, the original came from a Broadway play, believe it or not. Mm. And I think it was called Dead End. Right. And the idea was that the on the east side. The roads, the streets would end dead end at the docks. And if I'm not mistaken, not too many years ago, maybe, uh, I don't know, 2010, something like that, they recreated the Broadway play Dead End with the, uh, uh, the dock being oh. the, the major scenery. And the kids would, the same characters would jump off the dock into a pool of water on the stage. And so it was all very uh, retro. Mm. But what happened was that the play was such a big hit. Uh, somebody made it into a movie, and then the movie morphed into, you know, from East End, from Dead End to East End, to the Dead End Kids, to the East End Kids, to the Little Tough Guys, to, you know, whatever. Hunts Hall and uh, Leo Gorsi were in the original sure. movie, in the original play. And, you know, some of these movies have them. Some don't, but they're all, as you point out, they're all wearing those caps. They're all little tough guys. You know, they're all wise asses. And it's a, the same humor in, in all of them. Very similar plots, but I loved watching this. Yeah, it, it was fun yeah. to watch. So if you remember growing up with these, you're right there. It, this is, yeah. you, you don't need the other characters. You know what I mean? After a while, I stopped looking for them. It didn't matter because I had all of the the tough kids and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but there there was some sense of re socially redeeming value at the end, where the yeah. good guys win and the bad guys are uh, the kids at least are uh, a yeah. part of 
uh, making it right at the very end. Sure, and the kids, the kids all have that same uh, uh, New York accent. They all, hey, what is this? Hey, yeah. You are, you, are, you talking to me? are you talking to me or about me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, charming film. This is what tough kids looked like in the 1930s. <laughs> except, except that uh, I guess the costume designer figured that yeah. a rip would, would, would do it. Yeah, there's probably a name for that. those caps. I don't know what they were. Anyway, listen. Go to uh, VintageFilmChannel.com and Vintage Film, YouTube dot com slash vintage film and look for uh this uh what is it called east end kids east end kids this is 1940 so this was in, east side, somewhere no, in the east, middle east side kids i'm east sure side kids. i'm sure there was an east end kids also when they these yeah. guys got too expensive yeah yeah anyway great little film you'll get a kick out of it um and if you're as old as art and i are you probably saw this on television in the 1950s Right. That's where I remember. Not this particular yeah. one necessarily, but one that looked just like this. Yeah. We'll see you soon on Celebrating Act Two. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.